It's been 10 days since an apartment building collapsed in Davenport, leaving dozens displaced and community members demanding answers, lives also lost. The collapse left these three people dead. Brandon Colvin Sr. was found Saturday. Ryan Hitchcock was found on Sunday. Daniel Preen was found early Monday morning, days after family members and loved ones called for answers and justice. Wednesday night, protesters gathered outside of Davenport City Hall, chanting and waving signs ahead of the first city council meeting after that collapse. A public comments at the meeting took over an hour. Davenport residents frustrated, not just with the building owner, Andrew Wold, but city officials. How do we hold him accountable? Are we going to renew his license next year? Are you guys held accountable for the city not doing their job? When do we stop them and say, hey, you know, you got all these lawsuits against you. Um, your building that you didn't take care of killed three people. The council approved up to $600,000 in emergency aid for families and businesses displaced by the collapse. In the days since the collapse, a trio of lawsuits were filed on behalf of people who were inside the building at the moment it crumbled. Local 5's Mary Sugden joins us in studio with a deeper look at what one lawsuit reveals. Stephanie, tonight we're taking a closer look at a lawsuit filed on behalf of Peach and Lexus Berry. Now, the married couple were inside the apartment when the floor and ceiling both caved in. While Lexus was able to curl into a ball on what was left of her floor, her wife was thrown with the rest of the apartment several stories below. Now, lawyers say Peach was trapped underneath debris for eight hours and the only way rescuers could save her was to amputate her leg above the knee. And the couple's attorney says this entire event was avoidable. And here's just a brief overview of the negligence they allege happened on behalf of the building's owner, contractors, and the city of Davenport. In this lawsuit, lawyers say the building's owner, Andrew Wold, took over the building in 2021. Within one month, he received this complaint notice from the city of Davenport calling the structure substandard. Lawyers say he did nothing with this notice, a second one he received months later, or a formal notice calling the building a nuisance. Fast forward to February of this year, MidAmerican refused to allow employees to work there until building improvements were made. Lawyers claim that triggered Wold to hire a company to perform an emergency visit and inspection, which found bricks on the west wall were cracked and crumbling. The same day, the city of Davenport declared the structure a public hazard, saying the concerns needed immediate attention, calling for beams to be shored up with heavy posts so permanent repairs could be applied. Wold hired an engineering company who started work the same month. Workers found this, a large hole, more or less a foot wide between the concrete and facade. In the report, engineers say this would soon cause a large panel of facade to collapse, creating a safety problem and potentially destabilizing the upper areas of facade. Lawyers say even with these safety concerns raised, tenants were never alerted or evacuated. They claim Wold fired engineers a week into work over cost estimates, also turning down a different firm over the cost of their work. Lawyers claim while some improvements were made in March and April, shoring up and bracing was never completed. Five days before the collapse, another site visit from engineers revealed dire concerns, including large patches of facade bulging outward and ready to fall. Then three days before collapse, the city returned for an inspection, finding what lawyers describe as a pathetic attempt from Wold to make it look like he was complying with inspection requirements. Two by fours unanchored to the ground and unable to hold up the building. But lawyers say the city didn't take action on Wold's lack of efforts, nor did they or Wold warn tenants about safety concerns. And here's a few more claims that are made in this lawsuit. Lawyers claim an engineer whose work was turned down by Wold over the cost drove past two days before the collapse. He saw a pile of bricks on the ground and workers in the area and told them, quote, get away, you're going to die. The next day, someone working with Downtown Davenport Partnership called 911 to report the wall was bulging out. Stephanie. Absolutely unbelievable. All right, Mary, thank you. Now, the owner of the building, Andrew Wold, is scheduled in court tomorrow. The city of Davenport has fined him. To recap, that includes a $300 fine plus $95 in court costs. A court document says Wold failed to maintain his building in a safe and structurally sound condition.